Hey guys, Ronnie Chavez here for another tutorial on the flyaway or the swinging bar flip, backflip, or gainer, whatever you want to call it. This is a dangerous trick and I recommend you learn this trick at a gymnastics gym into a foam pit or with pads. If you don't have a gym, then you can even create your own padding with a mattress or blankets or whatever you can come up with, boxes, I don't know. Just I want you to be safe learning this trick and make sure that you have a solid backflip before learning this trick and that you know how to swing on a bar. But otherwise, let's get started. So before we actually learn this trick, there's a couple exercises that can help you just get comfortable with the motion. The first one is we're just gonna hang on the bar and just tuck your knees in, bring your feet through your arms, and flip around into a backflip. Pretty simple trick. Most people can probably already do that. But that's just to get comfortable. Initially, if you haven't tried that before with uh, flipping around upside down while hanging onto a bar. Now the next thing we're going to do is have a little bit of swing and just do the same thing. Now with that, it'll actually swing you backwards and that's okay, I don't want you releasing yet practicing these exercises. Just hang on until your body's all the way through and then you can land the trick. The difference between this motion and the actual flyaway is you're going to be releasing as you're swinging out and then doing that tucked flip motion as you're launching up and away from the bar to do the flip. So as you get comfortable with swinging from the bar and you're ready to start trying the flip, the technique that is involved is that as you're swinging forward, you, it's all about the timing of when you release. If you release too soon as you're swinging forward, then your center of gravity will drop straight into the ground. If you release too late, then you'll be kind of swinging back towards the bar or go up too much and you can risk clipping your feet on the bar. So you want to make sure you find that right balance where your feet are swinging up and you're swinging here and you start to tuck your knees in and then release so that you have that momentum going up a little bit and forward to send you away from the bar but your center of gravity is still high so you have plenty of time to get the trick around. What else you want to be thinking about as you do this trick is as you're coming up and you start bringing your knees towards your chest Think about that you're tucking towards the bar, but your momentum is going to be carrying you away from the bar. If you're still dropping quite a bit practicing this trick, it might help if you do actually a little bit of tug pulling on the bar. This will actually help you whip a bit faster and give you a little bit more height. It's just a subtle tug. It's not a pulling my body into the bar. It's just a little jerk that gives me extra momentum and rotation to do the trick. So after the release and the tucking of your knees, you can tuck it, you can lay it out. The main thing is that you're getting around and you're able to spot the ground to open up and land successfully. So when you have the flyaway down with the tuck and you're ready to do it into the layout, it's going to be a little bit different, but it's mostly the same in the release and launch. The only difference is going to be in the swing and how you whip your body when doing the layout. So everything's the same, you want a good amount of swing. But then at this point, when your legs are about here, you want to hang them back a little bit longer so that as you come up here, you can get a little bit more whip with their kick. And it's almost like you're going to go into the tuck, except for it's only subtle. It's just, you know, a kind of a powerful, you know, motion to here until you're going to be releasing and opening up your body again to do the layup. And so your legs hang back, you whip them forward, and then as you release, you open up again for that layout to come around and land the trick. And then while you're in the layout, you just want to make sure you've had enough momentum to flip you all the way around. And that just comes through practicing a fast whip and fast rotation with this trick. This trick can be a scary one to learn. I actually learned this one in a gym into a foam pit. And I think that's one of the best options for those who really want to learn this trick safely. But uh, otherwise, it just reaches a certain point where you just have to go for it after you feel comfortable with it and you're ready to do it then you just have to commit to it after you've practiced it safely in a safe environment. And that is how you fly away. Not like Peter Pan or Superman, but like a free runner. That's the way we do it. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials and thanks for watching.